Hey students, in this week's episode of The View, we have announcements, sports, and a segment on wrestling. The View starts now. Today, Friday, January 18th, the following students will be representing Mountain View at the state math competition with Mr. Jones. Adam Hordinas, Kyle Lowry, Andy Borst, Sham Taylor, Akash Sinha, Krishna Spinoza, Bladen LaClaus, Grant Bauman. Let's wish them all luck. The Mountain View Theater Department will be hosting their new production, Sophie and the Pirates, January 24th and 25th at 7 p.m. and January 26th at 2 p.m. Tickets are $5 online and $8 at the door. Ms. Zach's class recently did a full forensic investigation. The following are segments edited by some of the members of our broadcasting team. FCCLA is currently accepting new members. Dues are $20 on my payment test, and the next meeting will be February 14th. In sports, the swim team will have a meet this Saturday at 7 p.m. against Parkview at home. Come out and support our Bears. Basketball season is upon us. You can support our varsity boys at their next game today at 7.30 p.m. at home against Mill Creek. Come out and support our Bears. Our wrestling team worked hard at their varsity region duels last week. Here are Harrison and Garrett Spikes, two sibling wrestlers on the team, to talk more about the wrestling experiences and the Mountain View program. I ended up in the wrestling program by being first in the youth program when Mountain View first opened. I wrestled at Mountain View on the middle school team, and then I began as a freshman when I wrestled varsity. What I like about the program at Mountain View are the teammates and the coaches who have been making this season a lot of fun. I'm wrestling at 195 pounds. At the county finals, I wrestled Anthony Vincent from Collins Hill High School. 
I ended up winning against Vincent by one point, which is a really close match. This year I plan to go to the state duels in Macon this weekend. I have to say that the whole team is working hard and we all have our own goals. My goal is to repeat winning the state championship just like last year. I am preparing for this tournament by working with the coaches, fine tuning some things I need to work on and making sure my weight is where it needs to be and staying healthy. I've been wrestling since I was four years old and I've always wanted to be a high school wrestler. I love all the coaches and the memories I made with my teammates. This year I'm wrestling 170 pounds. In the county finals I wrestled a Buford kid named Blaine Burgey who was undefeated. I ended up pinning him in the first period. This meant that I, w I won first at county. Um, I've placed twice at state, sixth as a freshman and third as a sophomore. Be sure to attend the Freshman County competitions this Monday at North Gwinnett. Come out and support our wrestlers. Next, we have a segment by Nicole where she made a comp compilation of her concert attendance this year. The concerts include Ice Nine Kills and Memphis Mayfire's performance at the Vans Warp Tour and the footage from the Mexico Christian Festival. up with the latest in tech, here's Zachy with the Tech Talk. Hey what's going on Mountain View, my name is Zach Romani and today I'm going to be bringing you guys this week's Tech Talk. In this week's Tech Talk we're going to be talking about the new Royale FlexPi foldable smartphone. Yes you heard it, a foldable smartphone with a foldable LCD display. Let's get into it. As of nowadays you notice companies such as Apple and Samsung taking the market on the most sold smartphone as you take in as the iPhone or an Android such as the Samsung Galaxy S9. These type of smartphones are these type of smartphones are known as flagships. They're the most common smartphones for everyone to buy. Now nowadays this company name known as Royale is doing this crazy thing. What they decided to do was create a 7.8 inch, inch displayed phone. Now the way this phone works, it is a full functioning 7.8 displayed phone at full resolution, but you have the ability to fold the entire phone in half to about the resolution of 1920 to 1440, which is an amazing resolution overall. With the flexible display and this new technology, you'll see great things coming from Royale. Now obviously, this phone is not only just a regular phone, this phone's coming out with the best specs. You're starting with a 2.8 8 core Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Now obviously this is a very new phone to be seen with the float foldable display. This is now on the market which you can buy, which is crazy enough as it is. To buy this phone and to be able to have this piece of technology for a foldable screen is crazy enough. 
Now obviously we've seen Samsung actually play with this technology with the OLED flexible to screen at CES 2017. I'll show you guys some clips right here. Now as you can see, the foldable display was a pretty cool idea, but no one really liked it. Now this company wanted to bring it back, and this screen is just phenomenal. Now if you notice that nowadays that bezels are starting to get smaller on phones, if you notice that I have the iPhone 8 and I have these bezels around, with the new iPhone X, they're trying to eliminate all bezels, but what this phone has done is it nearly eliminated all bezels. There's no notch. It is completely almost all screen, which is really nice to have. And when you fold it, it's a full screen right there. Now, this phone will be marketed at around $1,300, which is pretty steep for some people, but you will get around 128 gigabytes of storage, which is perfect for everyone in with their photos or video. Will this be your next phone? Well, thank you for watching. Now back to our anchor. Are you looking for an elective that is fun, challenging, and exciting? Let's take a look at the AV Tech and Film students to get their perspective on this pathway. Audiovisual Tech and Film, or AV Tech and Film, is a CTE class taught by Ms. Booker that teaches students the basics in videography, video editing, news production, employability skills, and so much more. Students can even have the chance to be a part of the production crew of the school news. Here, students use programs such as Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Photoshop to put together videos and create effects for This class is divided into four levels, AV Tech and Film 1, 2, 3, and 4. Level 1s learn the basics about video and video editing, along with employability skills. It helped me a lot because I didn't know how to use a lot of the software we're using in this class. Um, I personally use Sony Pro Vegas 14, but um, this class offers um, Premiere Pro. So I got to know how to use Premiere Pro and the new camera equipment that they have here too and the lighting. And it's just been a really great year for me. Level 2 is create video segments and groups that have them possibly featured in the school news and some students are part of the production crew for the school news. Um, what I like about this class is the freedom we have. We, are, we work independently and we get to work on projects that we feel like are important for the school. Level 3s are independent students who take what they've learned in the past and put it to the test by producing their own videos independently. I made a music video and some commercials. I feel like anyone should enjoy when they create a video. Level 4s act as interns from Booker, carrying out video tasks ordered by her such as recording football games, live streaming, and recording special events at schools. My skill level before is very minimal. I knew how to edit, I knew how to photo, uh, use Photoshop, but that was basically it. When I came to video, that's when everything changed. I was able to, I was given the opportunity to use video programs, I was able to, given the opportunity to have time to create videos and create all these other amazing projects. This class has been helping me so much. I'm actually going to GGC this year for mass media production in which I'll pursue at UGA after two years. In life, you're going to use a video camera to either record moments, birthday moments. Uh, a lot of students use Snapchat. They have YouTube channels. It, my class is very marketable. In Atlanta, Georgia, over the past several years, we've become the number one place for film. There are jobs. If you want to graduate high school and start working immediately or even have an internship when you're in high school, then that's why I suggest taking audio, video, technology, and film. Uh, some of the different type of students that would do well in our video broadcasting class are creative students who like to tell stories. It is helpful if you're great storytellers. We like to have sports enthusiasts that can report on the sports, record games. We like people that are interested and fine arts, so you can go and record theater, uh, chorus, you can record band, different activities in the fine arts. We love people who are competitors, and we are co-curricular, so I run a Skills USA CTSO, and what that is, is 
it helps you get job ready. That is our focus on having you graduate high school and being job ready. There are scholarships, competitions, community service, all of that is available through our linked program, Skills USA. And then if you take the course, the three levels, video one, two, and three, you have the opportunity to become Adobe certified through our end of pathway assessment. For people that want to join this class, it's really about what you want to do with your life. If you really like video, then go and pursue it. If you have that hobby, you want to pick up a camera, you want to uh, video edit, you want to show things to people, then I really think this class is great for you. Well, Bears, that concludes this week's episode of The View. Thanks for watching and tune in again next week. As you go about your day, always remember, life is like a stage and someone is always watching. Stay excellent, Mountain View. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things, I gotta just let it all out. I'm talking.